I think the single most annoying thing about emails has to be junk mail. I mean, you try to stop them, but sometimes they just get through. For example, stuff like this. So let's right click on the junk mail inbox that you have. Select properties. Then select auto archive tab. This auto archive tab, we can see the archive this folder using the settings. Now we're not actually archiving it. What we want to do is give it a set date so that it will automatically empty stuff for us. So I would like to keep my junk mail for three days just in case something sneaks through that's not junk. So I have three days to check and then it will permanently delete these items. Now, if you really want, you can archive your junk mail because maybe you get so much, maybe you work in marketing and you get heaps of junk mail, but sometimes some proper ones fall through. So you can select archive to default archive folder, or you can select a um, custom one like this. But in most people's cases, we're going to permanently delete these old items. So in three days, my junk mail inbox will be emptied by itself. I don't have to go in there, right click, empty junk mail every day because junk, let's be honest, junk mail comes all the time and it's super annoying. And I just don't want to right click and delete every time. Clean up folder, empty folder, it's just so annoying. So I'll get Outlook to do that for me. So there you go, Outlook quick tips for it to automatically manage your junk mail. And if you have any questions or comments, just leave it below and I'll try and help you with your email problems. And then when you're in junk email options, the first tab that we're going to look at is the um, how sensitive it is. Now you can say no filtering, low filtering, high filtering, or safe lists only, but the way I do it is just put it on high. So you can add them to block senders, but really they just keep coming back because they'll just keep changing the email and you'll never figure it out. You can try to block them internationally. Sometimes the emails, as you can see, will end in EU or UK or are you and then you can click the block encoding list and you can actually select which ones you which countries you want to block them from 